The Wisconsin Department of Education notes that 40% of teachers leave the profession in their first five years. However, a professor at UW La Crosse is keeping future teachers' passion for education burning. News 8 Now's Jordan Fremstad introduces you to her and some future teachers as we honor these leaders on National Teacher Appreciation Day. That's what this COVID pandemic has taught me, is to be flexible. Have you thanked a teacher lately? They're the ones doing the work. We're just here to guide them and support them. Our last class. Oh, wow. They won't ask, but after the year they taught, they've earned some extra credit. And I taught for 28 years. Assistant Professor Lisa Pito. What title would you like me to give you? Oh, Dr. Lisa Pito. Make that yeah. Dr. Lisa Pito. It's a family here at Lincoln. Awesome. So much Teaches the next know. wave of teachers oh, at know. UW La Crosse. These are students that are getting a degree in grades one through eight. Absolutely. Dana Trimborn is one of these students. She was the person who I would text if I had concerns or if I needed help setting up a lesson, any advice. Are you teaching coaching tennis? Dana there? teaches yeah. in Mandy Hunt's class at Lincoln Middle School. There is a lake there, but my parents... A massive like, help like in the eyes of Mandy oh, yeah. after COVID-19 changed every piece of her classroom. I don't know what I would do without having a teaching partner. The pandemic left a scar. WPI points out one in five teachers were not planning to return to teaching last fall because of COVID-19. But I have a victory lap to go. That's not turning Carly Kirking away from her passion. It's not the end of the world for education. Of course. Like, she yeah. says people like Lisa light the way, even when a camera lens is the path to the classroom. There's a saying we have in education and it's called building the plane while we're flying it. The pandemic left plenty in place of what it took away. Tenfold, there's more skills that they've learned because of COVID. Is it time to go? Unpredictable lessons. We never know what the future holds for us. I don't think I ever said that. <laughs> I don't think so. Equipping future teachers with tools no textbook provides. It's an essential piece of the wheel. Lisa builds that foundation, a foundation of support. After every class, she checks in on us. You make it all possible. So Dana and Carly can build one for children in their own classrooms. And then they start doing it. And they're and you're like, yay, they're doing it. <laughs> this is Jordan Fremstead, News 8 Now, lacrosse. Like, it's been... Once Lisa's students complete their student teaching period, they get to apply for jobs. And Lisa says seeing her students' faces when they land that first job is one of the best moments for her. I bet.